Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how I created this Bollywood inspired makeup look. Very dramatic and I hope you like it. So let's get started. First of all, I'm priming my eyelid with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC35 and then I'm just applying some setting powder to make sure my eyelid doesn't crease. Then for my first transition color, I'm using MAC Soft Brown with the MAC 224 brush and I'm blending it all in in my upper crease. And I'm using actually a lot of it because we're going in with purple and I want it to be nice and blended. And to blend it all in, I'm going back in with the blending brush. Then I'm going in with a MAC 221 brush and I believe it's called Shopaholic the color. It's a bright purple color and I think it's limited edition so I'm sorry for that but you can use any purple eyeshadow you want to or maybe another color if you're not into purple as I am. And as you can see I'm really applying the color a lot on my crease and blending it in with the first transition color and I'm kind of winging it out. And then I'm taking a flat brush and the color Bottle Green by MAC. It's a dark green eyeshadow. It's very matte, so you really gotta work with it. And I'm applying it on my entire eyelid. I know everything looks very weird and not blended, but I promise at the end everything will be nicely blended and everything will come together. And also with the green, I'm winging it out just as I did with the purple color, as you can see. going in with the same brush, the 221 blending brush, and I applied some eyeshadow called Sketch. It's purple but darker and I'm using that in my lower crease to blend the bright purple with the green so we don't have any harsh lines on the eye. <laughs> Then for the fun part, I'm first starting out with the MAC Mixing Medium because I am going in with glitter, the Reflex Pro Glitter. It's very nice, very sparkly, very glamorous and I'm applying it on top of the bottle green eyeshadow using a flat brush. I try to look down when I apply this glitter because the glue still has to dry and when I look up it gets on my upper lid and I don't want to.
then I'm just taking Q-tip with some eye remover uh, to make everything extra sharp. Then I'm going in with the pencil brush and I dipped into the color sketch again because I want it to be my lower crease a little bit darker and more defined. And I'm only using it on the outer part. And for gel eyeliner, I'm using Black Track. I already warmed it up on my hand and I'm using a MAC 210 brush and I'm just following the eyeshadow line we created. Because I have glitter on my eyes, I really had to warm up the eyeliner because it's a gel and it's very hard to apply gel eyeliner on top of glitter, but I always draw my wing with the gel eyeliner. So the wing is gel eyeliner, but the rest of the eyeliner, I just use a liquid black eyeliner because it's just way easier. And then you should have something like this. And then I'm just gonna quickly pop on some eyelashes because that's just gonna change the look and take it to a whole nother level because it's so dramatic and you need dramatic lashes, as you can see. Then moving on to my face, I'm using a primer because I want to prep my face before going in with the foundation. And for foundation today, I am using the MAC Studio Tech. It's a cream foundation, it's buildable and it's perfect for this look. And I'm using a MAC 170 buffing brush. It's the same brush I used in my previous video. I love it and it just makes everything nice and blended. And then I'm going to color correct before going in with concealer. And this is also the Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC35. And I'm using a lot of concealer because this look requires a lot of concealers. Oh, and the brush I'm using is a MAC 287, 187? Ugh. I'm not sure, I will link it down below. And I'm blending it all in with a sponge. And I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to fast forward this because I already have two videos where I explain how I contour my face. Uh, first, I'm going in with a cream and I'm using a stippling brush to blend it all out. And then I'm using a light boost. This is a highlighter to really give me that highlighted look and I'm applying it under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, my nose, around my lips. And again, I am blending it all in. And I'm taking my foundation brush with no additional product just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. And when I don't look like a drag queen anymore, I'm going to set my under eyes using a blending brush and the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC25. And I'm using a transparent powder to bake my under eyes and I'm letting it sit for about five minutes. And I'm going to apply a second liner under my wing from the outer part of my eye until the end of my wing. And I'm making a straight line.
don't worry if it doesn't look good at the outer part of your lower lash line because we are going in with some eyeshadow and a pencil brush as you can see to blend it all in and I'm using the same purple eyeshadow on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to remove all of that excess powder. And then I'm taking the bottle green eyeshadow and a small angled brush. I'm not really blending this on my lower lash line, but just dabbing it onto my lower lash line so my eyes get a little bit more dimension. Like this. And to set my contour, I'm using an angled brush and the color Shadowy. It's a sculpting powder by MAC. I believe it's pro only, but you can buy it online. And of course, I'm using a black eye pencil for my waterline. And for blush, I'm using MAC Peaches to give my face a little bit more warmth. And of course, I'm applying some mascara. Well, I say some, but it isn't some. I applied about three layers. And I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes using the same highlighter I use under my eyebrows. And it's MAC Soft and Gentle with, I believe this is an eyeliner brush, but I like it to use it for my inner corners because it's very small. And I'm not really contouring my nose, but like a little bit more defined using a blending brush and the shadowy color. And because we cannot live without it, I'm going to highlight my face using Soft and Gentle and a fan brush. Now for lips, uh, this is my favorite combination. I use Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. It's very dark, it's very purple, and I'm making little strokes with the lip pencil and later on I will be connecting them together. And for lipstick, I'm using MAC Heroin. It's very bright purple and I think it looks amazing with the Night Moth lip liner. I just love this combination. And we're done this with the necklace, the earrings, everything. Very glamorous, very full. These earrings are very heavy. I cannot wear them normally because my ear will just fall off my head. But I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, you know, just ask me. And I would like to know what you want to see in my next video or do you want me to make other videos instead of makeup tutorials? Just let me know and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.